Today we are blessed with two extraordinarily successful theories. The first is Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity, which describes the large-scale behaviour of matter in a curved space-time. It tells us how gravity works. Matter tells space-time how to curve, and curved space-time tells matter how to move. This theory is the basis for the so-called standard model of Big Bang cosmology. We use it to describe the evolution of our universe from almost the very beginning, which on current evidence happened about 13.8 billion years ago. The discovery of gravitational waves at the LIGO Observatory in the USA, and now Virgo in Italy, is only the most recent of this theory's many triumphs. The second is quantum mechanics. This theory describes the properties and behaviour of matter and radiation at its smallest scales, at the level of molecules, atoms, subatomic and subnuclear particles. In the guise of quantum field theory, it is the basis for the so-called standard model of particle physics, which builds up all the visible constituents of the universe, including stars, planets and us, out of collections of quarks, electrons and force-carrying particles such as photons. It tells us how the other three forces of nature work – electromagnetism, the strong force and the weak interaction. The discovery of the Higgs boson at CERN in Geneva is only the most recent of this theory's many triumphs. But while they are both highly successful, grand intellectual achievements, these two standard models are also riddled with holes. There's an awful lot they can't explain, and they leave a lot of important questions unanswered. If anything, their successes have only served to make the universe appear more elusive and mysterious, if not downright bizarre. The more we have learned, the less we seem to understand. The two theories are also fundamentally incompatible. In the classical mechanics of Isaac Newton, Objects exist and things happen within a container of absolute space and time which somehow sits in the background. If we could take everything out of Newton's universe, we must suppose that the empty container would remain. General relativity gets rid of this container. In Einstein's universe, space and time become relative, not absolute, and the theory is said to be background independent. Space-time is dynamic, it emerges as a result of physical interactions involving matter and energy. Quantum mechanics, though exasperatingly bizarre, yet unfailingly accurate in its predictions, is formulated in a different way. Interactions involving the elementary particles of matter and radiation are assumed to take place in precisely the kind of absolute space-time container that general relativity eliminates. Quantum mechanics is background dependent. And there you have it. We have a classical non-quantum theory of space-time which is background independent, and we have a quantum theory of matter and radiation which is background dependent. Our two most successful theories of physics are built on incompatible interpretations of space and time. They are woven on different kinds of fabric, one co-generated by the physics, and the other presupposed and absolute. We have two incompatible descriptions, but as far as we know, and certainly as far as we can prove, we've only ever had one universe. This is a problem, because we also know that in the first few moments following its birth in the Big Bang, the universe would have existed at the quantum scale, at the mercy of a quantum mechanics. Now, the fact that we can't explain the origin and earliest moments of the universe might not trouble you over much, but the track record of physics in the past hundred years or so has encouraged us to have greater expectations. What we need is a quantum theory of gravity. So, do I have your attention yet? The Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu once said that a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, the first thing we can do is recognise that the only way to bring together quantum mechanics and general relativity is to find a new fabric, a new way of conceiving of space and time, one that is compatible with physics on any scale.